G'day, how you going? Welcome back for some more green and gold. Righto, for me, today's Wednesday, it's midweek mow time, baby. Yes! For me to maintain a 15 mil height of cut, I need to mow twice a week. So I generally do it on a Wednesday and a Saturday. You need to choose a mowing frequency that matches your height of cut. So for example, if I was mowing at like five or seven mil, I'd need to be mowing like three or four times a week because the, the leaf uh, grows so quickly. Because I'm maintaining something that's a little bit higher, I need to be mowing uh, less frequent, so the two times a week. So uh, for good plant health, generally try and get out at least twice a week. But hey, if you can only get out there once a week, say la vie. Righto, that brings up another topic of conversation, which can be a little bit controversial. By this, I mean, it's, there's a lot of preference in uh, what we're about to talk about here, and that's uh, mulching versus catching. Righto, let's get into it, eh? So I just wanted to talk quickly about mulching versus catching. So this midweek mow for me is generally always a mulch. I'm pro mulching. I, um, I love to mulch because you're getting nutrients back into the ground for the microorganisms to, I mean, I'm numb, eat them up and pump back into the plant. So you can recycle up to 25% of your grass's nutrients back into the grass um, through mulching. That's especially true after we've fertilized. I like to mulch at least for two weeks after a fert because you might still have granules uh, just tucked in under the canopy and the, the leaf blade will be generally pretty rich in nitrogen. So I like to chop it off and uh, mulch it down to the ground as, as much as I can. Right, let's move on, eh? So there's a few instances in where you don't really want to be mulching. The first one would be throughout our renovations. So the idea of a renovation obviously is to cut it off at the socks, uh, right down to the ground and then uh, get rid of all of those clippings and stolons and stuff like that. So that'd be our first instance. Our second instance would be if the, if the lawn is showing signs of disease. So that could be if there is mycelium, um, that could be if there's mycelium on the surface. So it's like this spider web looking uh, gear. I'll put a photo up on the screen. Or you're actually seeing fungus. So uh, brown patch, dollar spot, anything like that. Because what you can do by mulching is actually spread it across your lawn, which you obviously want to try and avoid. So in that instance, you better be bagging up. Another instance would be if you've got excessive gum tree litter on your lawn. You want to try and get rid of that gum tree litter as much as possible. So you might consider making your first pass with the bag on, try and hoover up some of those leaves. And then you could consider maybe, um, maybe mulching that or using a leaf blower, whatever you want to do. Just get your twigs and gum tree leaves off the lawn. Another instance that you might consider bagging is if you've got a sports turf surface. So if you've got uh, possibly a bowling green, uh, a chipping green, a cricket pitch, something like that, you'd probably be considering uh, catching most of the time there. And the final instance would be if you've got a whole bunch of mates coming around and you want the deck looking sweet. So uh, yeah, if you've got 30 or 40 mates coming around for a barbecue or whatever and they're bringing all their kids and they're rolling around on the lawn, and you've just mowed like two or three hours before, <laughs> you know, they're probably gonna get covered in snot. So um, I would consider that an instance where you don't need to mulch. But mate, the rest of the time, try and get around without your bagger, eh? All right, let's get a mow on, baby.
Alrighty, I don't know how well that's showing up on camera because we've got uh, quite a shadow here. But you can see, I've got an abundance of clippings. Um, that's because this section of the lawn up here was, was miles too long for a mulch. I really should have been making my first pass with the catcher and then mulching. But uh, it's a midweek mow, mate, and I won't worry about it. So um, the solution to that is hit it again, man. It'll just mulch up again and, uh, and spread across the lawn as well. So um, there's two solutions rake it up or hit it again and spread it out. So I'm just not going to worry about that. I'm just going <laughs> to... A little bit of a dodgy fix, but you don't want too much stuck in one area because if you leave it all piled up like that for, for a couple of weeks, what can happen is um, you'll kill off the grass underneath because it's not getting light and uh, you'll have this big brown dead spot. So uh, if you do have any big areas like that that have just been mulched up and whatever, hit it again or uh, catch it or rake it up and get rid of it. All right. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll chat you on.